This video is how to use a custom picture as an emblem for your crew on Grand Theft Auto 5. First, let me tell you what you'll need. A social rock star name and a crew. If you are watching this video, I hope you already have those. If not, get them. They are free. Socialclub.rockstargames.com You're going to need a computer. This tutorial is for PC, not Mac. You're going to need a cool picture. Something that you want to use as an emblem. Follow the rules of logos and marketing, meaning less is better. The more complicated and colorful your picture is, the harder this will be for you. You will see why during the tutorial. A web browser that lets you edit HTML in real time. I recommend using Google Chrome. It's easy to use and free. For this tutorial, I will be using Google Chrome, so if you are doing this on a different web browser, the titles or specific steps may be a little bit different. You can download Google Chrome for free at google.com slash chrome. You're also going to need a text editor editor like Notepad. I am using Notepad++. It's free to download and gives you a few more options than regular Notepad. You can download it for free at notepad-plus-plus.org and I'll put that link in the description. You're going to need a program called Vector Magic. This program is not free but you can do two free pictures as a trial so pick your picks wisely if you are only doing two. On a side note, everyone in your crew with a PC can do this. Lastly, you're going to need a little bit of free time. Now that we have everything that we need, we can begin. Using Google Chrome, search for an image to represent your crew. For this tutorial, I am using a logo. Remember, the less stuff going on with your image, the easier this will be. I will be saving everything to my desktop just to make it easier to find, but you can save it wherever you'd like. Just remember where it's saved. The next step is turning your image into a vector using vector magic. For this, I will be using the Vector Magic program. If you are using the two free image trial, go to vectormagic.com and select your image. If you are using the Vector Magic program, you can simply drag your image to where it says drag and drop. Once you have your image in Vector Magic, use the automatic setting on the top right. Depending on the complexity of your image and how good your computer is, this process may take a few seconds, anywhere to a few minutes. Now, this may take a little bit longer on slower systems or on very complex pictures. After the automatic setting is complete, you can remove the background. This will allow for you to customize your emblem a little bit more when it is in the Crew Emblem Editor on Rockstar's website. You do not need to remove the background but depending on your picture it is usually a good idea to remove the background simply click the remove background button that sounds easy enough and click the desired area you would like to remove again make sure your settings are set to high before you save it and make sure when you save it it's saved as an SVG file I recommend saving the new vector picture with a different name than your original photo so you do not get them mixed up as you will need to know the difference for the next step right click your new vector image and select edit with notepad plus plus like I said you can use a different program but I am using notepad plus plus now onto the hard stuff if you don't know a lot about computers or HTML or scripting or ice cream then this must look crazy to you and it is but luckily I'm here to make it make sense depending on how complicated your picture is you may have a few lines of scripting or you may have a ton of lines this is why having a very basic picture to learn with was so important especially if it's your first time on most of your lines it will say something like open caret blah blah d equals something the d equals something is the most important part remember that the d is the most important part okay for right now just minimize the notepad plus plus screen and open your web browser back up this is going to be the part where you need a web browser that can edit html in real time go to socialclub.rockstargames.com this is the part where you are going to sign into the account and go to your cruise go to your emblem gallery and then click create emblem. This will take you to the emblem editor screen that I have been bragging about. On the left hand side you can change the color of your emblem or background. I am going to select no color for my background which will make the emblem have a transparent background which for a custom picture this is a good choice but you can select whatever you'd like. Next pick one of the default shapes that they have given you. This will help you find the D a little bit easier. Once you have picked a shape you're going to need to right click that shape. Choose the bottom option which is inspect element 
document, you'll see some language that is similar to the one for your picture in Notepad++. Ah, breakthrough. If you look a couple lines above where it is automatically highlighted, you will see D equals quotation mark something something Z quotation mark. Remember this because this is what you're going to be changing. Now, open Notepad++ back up. Find a line that says D equals quotation mark something something. I know most of the lines in Notepad++ for your picture say this right now, so just pick a random one. This is where the simple picture with less lines comes in handy. Now, where it says D equals quotation mark something something, highlight from the letter M to the very end of the line where the letter Z is highlighted. Copy it. You can hit Control C. That's the easiest and fastest way. Now, go back to Google Chrome. Find where it says D equals quotation mark such and such. Double left click the numbers to highlight everything to the right of D equals. Once it is highlighted, you can paste hitting Control V is probably the easiest way. This will paste from your notepad plus plus. Now this may look like a small fragment of your picture or you may have gotten lucky and selected the correct line and got the custom image that you selected. In this video I got lucky and selected one of the lines that had the bulk of my custom image and for me I'm happy with that. I don't want to find the perfect one because I don't have that much time. And if you're not happy with the selected image like let's say you only got a fragment you can just repeat this process. Find a different line where it says M copy that all the way to the Z and then paste it in here. When you are completely finished you can save your image. Be sure this is the final product because you cannot edit this image in the editor once you have saved and exited. If you have any questions, any problems, feel free to send me a direct message or leave a comment. I'm interested to see everybody's design and hopefully I'll see yours when I play against you in Grand Theft Auto 5.